What is up my bodyweight warriors? Welcome back to another video, another training vlog. Bodyweight basics episode six. Six, isn't that right mate? Yeah. What episode are we on? I like your smile. You look pretty. <laughs> so yeah, episode six, bodyweight basics. I thought I would share with you something a little different today and that's because today I am on a rest day. I'll probably do a little bit of hand balancing, a little bit of stretching and I'll throw that intermittently throughout this vlog, but I'm gonna primarily focus on what is in this gym bag. I thought it would just be a useful video to make, something that I personally am interested in to see what other people train with, what they use as training tools, because kind of body weight training is all about using minimal equipment and kind of using your body itself. However, there are a few useful things that I think kind of people could benefit greatly from. So I thought I would share with you that was in my bag. And then also kind of some of the other training tools that I've acquired over this period of time that I use pretty much most of my training sessions. God, it's actually so cold. <laughs> so let's run through what is in my gym bag. Oh, what's this? Is this new merch? I think it might be. <laughs> I'm so bad at doing plugs. On a serious note, I have come out with some new t-shirts. There's four new designs. This is the Philosophy Tee, skillful, mobile, mindful. They're all organic cotton, custom printed, custom made for me. They fit really nicely. I've also made hoodies that I'm currently wearing and these beanies as well. If you want to snag yourself some very nice merch, and you want to support the channel, support me, and then I'll link them in the description down below if you want to snag yourself one. This is literally the day of release today. While you're also in the description, I will link absolutely everything I talk about in today's video, so every single piece of equipment that I have, I'll put a link to down below to make sure you can find the exact one if you are interested. So this is what is in my gym bag. So one of the most useful things that I find in my training is resistance bands. Like, I usually have three of me. I use them for various things from warming up to mobilizations to strengthening to distractions of a heavy band like this. This one is a 0.5 to 6 kilo. I set it on my website. This one I think is 10 to 25 kilos resistance. And this is a heavy band and I can't remember the total. I'll find out 100% for sure and I'll put a link in the description to that one. And those are always in my gym bag and I pretty much use them every single session. Along with those normal resistance bands, I also have these, which are like looped bands, um, very, very light. They're kind of more for like lateral banded walks and also for some overhead stability stuff. This little bastard. Wait, come here. Give me my golf ball back. Thank you very much. Next, we've got ankle weights they can also be used as wrist weights for upper body movements these are just a great tool i use them a lot for mobility so especially when i'm doing like middle splits or like the pissing dog exercise or even things like pike core compressions they're great for adding a little bit more weight to your feet and a very useful tool for making some easier body weight movements a little bit harder these are a must in a lot of gymnasts i find them very useful next we have the gymnastics rings one of my favorite upper body tools just generally for training and traveling like if you have a pair of these you can do pretty much anything anywhere and have a very effective workout they're great because they add a little bit of instability to training so they can make things like doing a parallel bar dip if you try to do a ring dip it makes it 10 times harder and even things like push-ups and everything else in between it's a great little progressive tool to use and i think again something everyone can benefit from in terms of rings what wants to buy wooden are always good as long as they got some kind of straps you're pretty much fine Next, we have soft tissue tools. Um, in this case, I am currently foam rolling. Ow, on a lacrosse ball. 
um, which is one of my go-tos at a cross ball. I also like to use a peanut, so this is kind of like two lacrosse balls put together. This one is very useful for uh, especially shoulders, thoracic extension. Also, if you want to do some like hamstring soft tissue work, that one sucks. And then if you're in a really bad mood and you want to cheer yourself up, why not use a golf ball? Seeing as we're on the topic of balls, um, I like to use juggling balls as well. I, these ones are like soft things so they don't roll away when you drop them. Juggling balls are always useful to have. As I put in my daily move 2018 challenge, I just like juggling, it's fun. It takes your mind off things, it's great as well for eye hand coordination and you know, it's another skill to learn. On to some more miscellaneous stuff. I also have some voodoo tape, which is kind of a way of applying soft tissue release to yourself. So you can kind of strap up joints and kind of move it through ranges of motion. It does like restrictive blood flow stuff. Kelly Strat was a, was a big proponent of this. Uh, I used it a lot in my golfer's elbow rehab as well as my short head bicep tendonitis, and it's very, very useful for those sort of things. So again, it's always in my bag in case I want to use it. This weird thing, which kind of looks like half a dumbbell, was actually one of the best things that I had when it came to my golfer's elbow rehab. Uh, and it's kind of a tool that you would use like this, and you can do basically like hammer twists on your wrists with them. Um, strengthen it through full range of motion and also do things like that. Um, the reason I have this in my bag is because I can set the distance that this is here um, and rather than going in the gym and kind of guessing each time I know that this is set up correct for me um, and I still do these at the end of most of my upper body sessions. It's also a pretty hefty tool if anyone like came in to the house that would do some damage. Last couple of things, a yoga belt. I use this mainly for strapping weights to myself instead of a weight belt because this cost me like two pounds and it holds like up to about 20 kilos without falling off you. So that's that. And last but not least, I use a workout journal, obviously. Um, this one is specifically bodyweight basics and I write down every single workout, all the reps I do, how I do them, etc., in that journal so I can keep log of how things are progressing because if you're not assessing, then you're guessing. On to some things that aren't necessarily in my training bag, but I think you will find very useful, especially if you train at home. The first is IKEA, good old IKEA bathroom stools. These things are like super, super cheap. I use them, I basically use them as blocks. So I use them to do handstand stuff on if I'm doing like presses and I need a little bit of elevation from the ground. I use them for some stretching and mobilization. I use them for doing weighted push-ups. They're just so, so useful for a whole host of things. Definitely recommend picking these up if you train at home. I also have parallettes, which is what these things are. I made these about two years ago now, and I have used them a bit, but this is actually in fact what those boxes that I previously showed you replaced, because I don't like doing stuff on parallel bars. It changes the grip. I actually prefer doing, like especially hand balancing, handstand work, I prefer doing it with my hands flat, because that's how I want to perform it here and there. But parallel bars, always a good choice. I've also got some weights, just in case you know you need to do some curls or you have that feeling you wanna go back to the dark side and lift some weights. But actually, in all seriousness, weights are super, super useful, especially weighted calisthenics. You know, I've been in a lot of weighted push-ups lately, some weighted pull-ups. Just great for building all-round strength. And the final thing, I've got a yoga mat and a foam roller, just kind of standard sort of training stuff. But that's kind of it. That's all of my training stuff that I use uh, on a day to day, week to week basis. I use this stuff a lot more when it's a little bit warmer out, not like it is now, but in summer, I train a lot outside. And this stuff you can kind of grab and go, throw in your car, throw in a rucksack and train pretty much anywhere, especially with rings. As I mentioned before, and if you're interested in anything I've talked about today, especially those t-shirts or the new hoodies or the new hats, 
If you want to support the channel, that'll be linked down below, as well as all the other equipment that I've talked about in today's video. I also hope you enjoyed the randomly interspersed training clips from today's rest day session. But that being said, if you want to join the conversation, ask me any questions about the gear that I've got here, or even recommend to me some gear that you think that I would benefit from or I should have, because I'm always interested in hearing other people's opinions on this sort of stuff. Leave a comment down below, join the conversation. While you're down there, why not hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. You can also hit that subscribe button. Join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe so you don't miss any of these. But that has been it for this week, guys. I will catch you in the next Bodyweight Basics episode. Have a strong week and peace.